Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on powers and roots. This is the third video on this topic and we're going to look at a couple more key skills in this video. So we'll start with looking at the fraction law. So this is when we have a fraction, for instance a over b, to the power of c. So this is going to be equal to a to the power c over b to the power c. So this applies to any fraction, so it could be a mixed fraction. So for instance we could have 2 and 3 quarters to the power of 5. Uh, this is going to be equal to, well let's actually first write this as an improper fraction or a top heavy fraction. So 2 and 3 quarters is 11 over 4. So let's rewrite this expression as 11 over 4 to the power 5. Uh, and now we can use the fraction law. So this is going to be equal to 11 to the power 5 over 4 to the power 5. Uh, so like I say, this applies to any fraction. Uh, but let's move on to look at uh, roots. So roots do the opposite of powers. So for instance, if we have four squared, which is equal to 16, then we could say that the square root of 16 is equal to four. Uh, now we also have cube roots. So if we had, for instance, two cubed, which is eight, then we could say that the cube root of eight is equal to two. Uh, so in each instance, we use the same symbol, uh, which is this root symbol. And then we have a number in the top left so it could either be 2 for a square root. If it's a square root, we usually don't bother writing it. Uh, but if it's a, a cube root, for instance, then we'd write a 3. Or if it's a fourth root, then we would write a fourth, a uh, little 4 there, sorry. Uh, so you could have any roots. You could have a fourth, a fifth, a sixth root, and so on. If you're feeling good about this topic and you want to practice some exam-style questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are instantly marked so you can keep track of where you're going wrong and where you can improve for your exam. So if you're interested you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.